Well, to start the live look from our Coleman Regional Medical Center camera, and we do have some clouds in place. We'll see a partly cloudy afternoon with a small chance for a passing shower or storm. Let's break down the rest of the day hour by hour. Through the later part of this afternoon, our temperatures are going to end up mid to upper 80s. Our average high for this time of year is in the low 80s, so above average warmth. And you see that very low rain chance here through the afternoon and into the evening hours. By 9 o'clock, once we lose the daytime heating, our temperatures will eventually drop into the 70s. But through the heat of the afternoon, we could have a few thunderstorms along into the north of I-20. Within the darker regions here is where we're a little bit more likely to see a cooling shower or storm to provide some temporary relief from the heat. Tomorrow, a little bit better coverage as some thunderstorms during the afternoon and early evening hours, they could become strong. So this is going to be for tomorrow afternoon. The northern half of the state is where we have that very low end marginal level one out of five risk for that. A storm or two could produce some gusty winds, frequent lightning, heavy rain. So just make sure tomorrow afternoon you're keeping an eye on the radar if you do have plans to be outdoors. Uh, as we move through the weekend, that's when we do bring in a little bit better rain coverage at times. Unfortunately, there are some storms in the forecast, but the good news is is that it doesn't appear to be a washout. So for Saturday, scattered storms, a few of those could be strong as well. Otherwise, we're hot and humid. Sunday appears to be the drier of the two days this weekend with just a few hit and miss thunderstorms possible. That temperature of 90 degrees is a little misleading because although the thermometer is going to show you 90, we are going to feel hotter than that, feeling like the mid 90s when you do factor in the humidity. And then, of course, Memorial Day, we do have an impact day, and that's because we are likely to see some scattered storms once again as a front moves into the state. A few of those could turn strong. This is that outlook for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be another day with a marginal risk. We're getting to that time of the year where these storms just have a lot of fuel and energy to work with. So almost every afternoon we'll talk about the possibility that a few storms produce gusty winds, frequent lightning, and then also some heavy rain. Here's a look towards Sunday. So these, these are your feels like temperatures. So to get this, we factor in the temperature outside and the humidity values. And when you add those together, this is what it's going to feel like to your body. If you're out and about on Sunday, some spots are going to feel like the mid 90s. If you are going to be outdoors on Sunday, just be sure you're drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated. Otherwise, when it's not just hot and humid, we will have some cooling showers and storms around at times. But I want to remind you not a washout this weekend, and we're looking ahead towards some more pleasant air around through next week.